and I have a business called J. Dion Creations. I love uh, teaching art and crafts to all ages around the city of Omaha. And uh, art to me is extremely important. Uh, it's a, a way for your mind to see the world differently, to think differently, to, it's an opportunity to just relax um, and just be. Uh, there's nothing wrong with not knowing how to do something. Uh, that's the, the wonderful thing about creativity is that you are exploring. Uh, you're trying something new, and today we're going to do something new, which is making puffy paint. So this is something easy, simple, fun. It's DIY. Most of the things you may already have in your household. And so you start off uh, with a dollop um, of some school glue. I love Elmer's personally, uh, but any school glue will work. And you always uh, want to use some sort of um, shaving cream. Um, cheapest brand possible is fine. You can usually find this for like a dollar or a dollar fifty somewhere. Um, and then the third ingredient, there's only three, which is what makes it so fantastic, is uh, food coloring. Now I like to get the gel, but you can use any the liquid kind is fine too. I prefer the gel just because it's just really you know more intense with color. You are going to go ahead and mix a bowl of green, a bowl of blue, and a bowl of yellow. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put your shaving cream in there for you, just to make it a little bit easier. So it doesn't, you know, feel a little overwhelming for you. Like I said, I just, yeah, I just squeeze it a little bit and see it just puffs right on up. Okay. Okay, there you go. All right, I want you, I'm gonna put yellow in there for you. Make that nice and intense. Go ahead and start stirring that the way I showed you. Make sure to always kind of scrape the, the sides so you can keep mixing it all in together, okay? Take your time. You don't have to go uh, terribly quick. You go ahead and mix the blue. Since that's one of your favorites. Since it is your favorite. If I could get it open. There we go. All right, so you have Brown, yellow, um, and I'm very cream nice. Cream. What you need? More. more cream. There you go. And then you have green. Okay. Now you have your brushes, right? And yeah. I'll get an extra one. Just make sure to use the same brush for the same color. Okay. All right. Um, the, what we can, what you use is the paper that I have for you is a watercolor paper. Um, that's what I have on hand, but you can use any kind of like poster paper or something. Just make sure it's really thick because you're putting something kind of wet on the surface. And if you just use like just regular paper, it can work, but it might might go through it, you know. Okay. You got the paper like if you like paint something, then you put a little drop of water on it and spreads. Oh yes, that's watercolor paper. So that stuff that's annoying. You know, it's not. And like you can find some some. Uh, affordable watercolor paper. I like to use it a lot, but oftentimes I just use like poster paper and because it's nice and thick and sturdy and it usually is just fine. And so if you're feeling real fancy, if you have that, you can use like a palette knife, a plastic one. You don't have to do that. I simply like to either use the stick I have or I take the paintbrush. And so with the paintbrush, you are going to, you scoop a very healthy amount onto the brush. It's not like regular painting, okay? You want a lot on your brush. And what you do is you really smooth it. You smooth it on. You want it to be thick. Ooh, you don't want it to, you don't want to press the brush down and do that. Because the whole point of the paint is to be puffy. But if you have such is a thin layer, it's not going to puff. Is this type of paint where like, it sticks onto a paper and it looks puffy? Yes, it's going to rise. So as I'm smoothing it on there, so think of like icing a cake, right? Mm -hmm. So take your time. You don't want it to get too crazy. Take your time and you smooth it across the surface, okay? And the cool thing is that when it dries, it's gonna puff up really nice, okay? It, it's a lot of fun to see those different textures. Okay, all right, so what's the key thing to do? Not brush hard. Not brush hard, just smooth it on like icing a cake, okay? So scoop it and then spread it. Don't, you don't need like a huge amount, just as you're adding it, make sure you're scooping it and then spreading it on there. 
Okay? We don't want to press the brush down and move it. Okay? Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all feeling creative? Y'all yep. feeling good? Mm-hmm. All right, I want to see our masterpieces go for it. There you go. You got it. Keep scooping. Keep adding. Keep scooping. Keep adding. You want it to be nice and thick. Okay? Go ahead and, and add more to your brush. And smooth it. There you go. Yep, take your time. Okay? Awesome. And like I was telling him, you can, that's fine. I think that's smart, drawing it out first and then filling it in. That's really smart. Yep, there you go. That's awesome. Okay, I want y'all to see what I'm doing real quick. If y'all want to pause for a second. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm making the heart too, right? But I'm taking my time and I'm leaving it nice and thick on the brush. That's the only difference between you and me is that. You're an artist. No, it, I practice, practice is the only thing that makes perfect, okay? I'm more used to it than you. That's the only difference, okay? So, what I'm doing is I'm taking my time and I'm just smoothing it on. See how I'm just doing little strokes? You're doing it just fine. I think you're doing a great job. You just, all you're gonna do is just use a little bit more on your brush, that's all, see? Okay? And then when you're ready. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, all it is is taking your time and using small strokes. Anytime you don't know how to make something or do something because you're not used to it, if you start just little tiny movements until you've made the whole, it's like sketching. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever sketched something? Uh, Goku. There you go. So you took your time, right? Yeah. All right. That's all you got to do is take your time. Never ever put the pressure on yourself to think it has to, you have to do it quickly and it has to That's look you perfect. Know it dries fast, look. Yep, it's gonna put, for it to dry all the way into the middle, it's gonna take quite a while, but it does start drying. The outside will dry pretty quickly, okay? You scoop it, and then, like I said, you just smooth it across, okay? Like that. Yep. So very light hand on the brush. Yep, so not even that much pressure. There you go, exactly. Yep, but keep scooping more and then adding more. The trick is to keep putting it on your brush. Just like kindergarten. There you go. Yeah. Nice. That keep adding is to your brush so and then keep smoothing it. Yep. Your heart, you got the ocean. Going to do the sun. And the fun thing is that you can do, you can do whatever you want. You can kind of change as you're going. The whole point of this is to just be creative. And the only way you're really going to know how to work with this is if you keep working with it and you keep kind of experimenting with it in different textures. What I'm painting is I painted the ground and then I made like a floating heart and I have a sun. I kind of want my heart, my clouds to be hearts. So that's what the blue is. They're gonna be my clouds, okay? And we know clouds are typically white, but this is my work, right? Yeah. Okay. And you can make it white. You just don't add any food coloring to it, okay? If you wanna do that. Okay, anytime you're working you want to take your time always keep putting more of your paint what? on the brush okay. What's the What's the in the do small uh, I'm gonna make like, uh, little blue, strokes blue it can be a little tricky because it is really thick and it's really sticky don't get frustrated that it's not neat this paint isn't about being neat or perfect it's about having fun and creating texture on paper. You're learning more about it as you're working with it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's part of the fun of it, you know? Being able to experiment, try something you never tried is what we call a medium. That's the whole point of me being here. You're learning something new, okay? Don't get discouraged and don't count yourself out, okay? Okay.
Right I here. just don't know how to make a heart. Here, I'll make the shape for you, okay? And then you can kind of you know, use what you already have here. Anytime that you're making a heart, you can start off making a V, okay? You can do it that way. Kind of make a V. Make a V. And then you round it and make a make a heart at the top of it, okay? Okay, which is just to make it and round it out at the top. See that? Now go ahead and finish filling that out. Okay. S's are okay. actually pretty hard to make, so when you made that first one, I was very, very impressed, okay? Just so you know, you did a fantastic job. Thank you. Yes, they're not easy to do, okay? See, all you got to do now what is connect it, right? Mm -hmm. So you do like a, a, a U a in one direction, and you do a U in the other direction, and they meet, meet in the middle, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how an S works. It's always different because you're used to making it with a pen, right? Yeah. You hold it a certain way. It's just your brain thinking of it in a different way because you're holding a paintbrush instead. That's all. That's what just makes it seem harder is you're just not used to it. You just have to think about it differently. Thank you. You're doing a fantastic job. Look at that. Great job, man. Look at you. Look at that. Artists. Did you guys have a lot of fun? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so this is something fun, easy to do uh, at home. Uh, I love creating things. Like I said, I do uh, different classes around town, especially for kids, um, after school programs and things like that. But I can also do uh, digital workshops as well as come to your home and do something really, really fun and creative uh, with your kids or for parties and whatnot. My website is jdianecreations.com. Uh, and just send me a message and I would love to get back to you and see what we can do for you in terms of creativity.